Man, we are back for day three in the garage, finishing up the Subaru. Today we have a pretty awesome project. We're just finishing up the other half of the suspension, as well as we are putting on the carbon fiber front lip and splitter, which you can see right here. Now this is an optional piece from Varus when you buy this front bumper. You can just get your basic front lip without a splitter, or you can get the carbon fiber front lip with this awesome splitter right here, which is adjustable as well, which is pretty cool. So we can make it super aggressive, which you guys know, I always go super aggressive with everything I do on my cars. So we'll be doing that today, but if you didn't see the last vlog, we went ahead and did the lower control arm as well as the toe arms to get me a ton of camber to be able to fit these wheels in the rear. So we did this side last night. We're gonna go ahead and finish up this side right now. Uh, we're setting the height. And once we set the height, we can put on the lower control arm, mess with the camber and the toe a little bit. And then once we drop it, I can drive it to the alignment shop. But this is easy, so I'm not gonna film this. Go watch the last video if you wanna see that. But I will update you guys when we start working on the front wheel. I'm gonna take a second and and look at how good this is. Oh man. What what's your estimate on how much camber we added? <laughs> I'd go negative negative five. Right around there, if not six. Yep. Yeah. We just went ahead and installed the other side of the suspension. Super easy process once you get it down and know what you're actually doing. So all that's left to do right here is tighten everything up on both sides and then we'll move to the front lip. All right, rear suspension is done. Now it's for the fun part of the day, installing this front lip. Now, you may notice that this bumper looks extremely weird without any front lip or split or anything. It sits really high and it kind of just looks unfinished down here. So to help fix that gnarly carbon fiber front lip, it's gonna look great and it's gonna bring the car down, what, like three inches or so? Yeah, because both of them together, I think it's more than three inches. Yeah. It looks like four. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. So it like brings it on like that much and also it'll complement the wheels and the wide body and everything as well. Later on, I'm probably gonna go to SOS Customs and see if they can make me a custom piece to go on, on the Ferris bumper because I do think it looks a little bit strange with no wide body piece right here, but that's for a different day. Let's see how it looks with the front lip and splitter and we'll move on from there. So lucky for us in the shop that we're in, we literally have an entire hardware store in the back, which is really convenient when you don't have nuts and bolts. So we went ahead and got all the hardware that we need just right in the back of our shop right now. And when the body shop painted the bumper, they actually painted where they already had holes drilled for the front bumper. So they're a little bit small. John's gonna go ahead and use a Christmas tree drill bit and kind of open those up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Once he opens up all of those holes, we'll go ahead and start installing the front lip. Oh my gosh, okay, front lip is on. It literally completes the front end. Like it just adds so much that the bumper was missing without it. This side shot is probably my favorite angle of the lip to kind of see how much it completes the car. But like with the vents and the angle of how they made the carbon lip, it just looks so, so much better, dude. I like I didn't wanna be the one to say it, but <laughs> when they didn't have it, I was like, uh, Yeah, oh man. It looks so much better. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up. Like I said earlier, this isn't it. We still have this entire front splitter right here. So this is gonna be so good. Go ahead and tighten that up, put the splitter on, and I'll update you guys. For the splitter, you have three adjustment holes right here. We're gonna go to the second most aggressive one just because if you have it all the way aggressive, these holes, oh, these holes still poke out a little bit. I wanna be sure that the splitter protects the carbon fiber front lip, so. And it also complements it really well. So we're gonna go ahead and install this splitter, put the car on the ground, and we'll check it out. All right, this is like, this is solid, bro. This is not going anywhere. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not chassis mounted, but this thing is so solid. Shakes the entire car when you, when you rock it. So 
We have the carbon lip as well as a splitter. We're gonna go ahead and lower this car down, see how it looks and pull it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and align it. Dude, it looks so unbelievably good. Good? Dude, that is so oh aggressive. Oh my God. Bro. Look at this. Look at the front of this car right now. Dude, if you look at it like from up here. I know. It looks so aggressive. Like this side angle right here. That is like everything I could have ever wanted in my entire life. Fuck. This is insane. This is unreal. Oh my God. Uh, let's say that, yep. Car, car is all finished up. I'm gonna head to get an alignment now. The driveway to get out of Enticed is a death trap, so wish me luck. More angle, bro. Tomorrow. What is up guys? Welcome to day two of this vlog. I stopped filming just so I could safely bring this thing home because it is super sketchy driving this with no alignment. But we are at my favorite shop to come to as far as alignments goes, 714 Tires. They specialize in doing lowered cars and they take really good care of me with all of my cars. This shop did my GTR. So today we are getting in and we're gonna do the Subaru. As you guys know, I do have all new suspension in the rear of this car. So we're gonna go ahead and set the camber in the rear so it matches, make sure the toe's correct so this car drives straight because it does feel very wobbly when driving on the freeway. But overall, we're gonna get this car all squared away and it's going to be perfect. I just cannot get over how this thing looks with the new front lip and everything's set. I'm beyond in love. This is the current alignment, how it is right now. That's pretty bad. That's what we eyeballed in the shop. So that's all gonna get straightened out and look really good. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, dude? Man's actually a subscriber, and I think the very first subscriber to see the car, like, completely done. Yeah, dude, fuck. I just put the front lip on, put the wheels on, and getting alignment now. Dude, it looks sick. Like, from, like, where it came from to <laughs> this, looks sick. Alignment is good. Here's what we're set at. We have negative 5.7 in the rear, so negative six, but we have toe and the cast and everything aligned perfectly. So we are good to go, and this car should drive a lot, lot better. Good. Oh my God, I'm so stoked. All right, we're gonna head back home. I wanna do a little shoot with this thing tonight. So uh, we're gonna wait until sunset and I'll update you guys once it's that time. We're gonna do a little mini shoot because this thing just looks unbelievable. So huge thank you to 714 Tire for helping me out with the alignment. All right, see you guys in a little bit. It is a few hours later now. We are back home from the alignment. The car looks and drives amazing. We came to this little spot that I haven't really ever shot before. I wish that all this construction stuff wasn't there, but this, this spot is actually really, really cool. We have palm trees in the background with the beach, and it's actually pretty empty here, which is really rare to find. But I'm getting a couple of photos here. I'm also gonna make like a little mini edit. I am just so unbelievably stoked at how awesome this entire car came out and how crazy the front lip and splitter just complements this front bumper and makes it overall that much better. 
But on another note, if you do want to see the pictures that I'm taking of the Subaru, you can follow both the Legends Beanie Instagram as well as my Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and get the gimbal out, try and make a little edit. It's about to die, so hopefully I can get something out of it, so enjoy. Well, never mind on the little edit. This thing is totally dead, so you guys are getting a handheld edit. That is be the end of the video. I've said this a million times, but I'm so unbelievably happy of the outcome this far. We still have a ton of stuff to do. Obviously, I have two different color headlights, so uh, I do need to figure out some headlight options as well as I am gonna get a new exhaust and possibly maybe a turbo kit. That's not definite yet. I'm thinking about it, but we'll see. Huge, huge thank you to Entice Motorsports for helping me make this happen and we knocked it out in a few days and everything came out perfect and I am so, so excited. John at Entice always lets me in and helps me out as much as he can. Can't encourage you guys to go there more if you're looking for any custom fabrication or really anything at all. So huge thank you to Entice and huge thank you to everybody for supporting me this long with this car. It's been a crazy, crazy time worrying about this thing after the wreck and not even knowing if I was getting it back. So I don't know. We made it this far and there's still a lot more left to go. So the build definitely is not done. I'll probably make another video pretty soon on a build plan that I want to do now that I have the car back and it's made it this far. So stay Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in the next vlog. I will be in Chicago. So hope to see you guys at Tuner Revolution. Peace out.